Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 51. Uh, Chalice first round match between Vava and Where Is My Brains. Could be the motto of the Chalice so far. I mean, can't go Versus back. Sea Brawls, Hewlazons can't win Chalice, and he's completely correct. He's up against four tackle, so he's probably going out in the first round, hilariously. Uh, he's got loads of guard though, to be fair. Four, five, six, seven guard. He's got a really nice, really nice Amazon team actually. Seven guard. Only one mighty blow. And uh, no stats. Nah, yeah, so it's, you know, a couple of dirty players, it's not that good. Ah, oh, Merry Christmas, Dimmy. Yeah, seven guard, no stats. Um, only one mighty. No piling. Oh no. Yeah, no piling. Idiotic juggernaut. What's it? Honestly, uh, can we just skip this one? Can we just skip this one, Seaball? You fucking took juggernaut instead of piling up. Fuck's sake, man. Fuck's sake, honestly. Honestly. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know. How can you cast people? Who picked Juggernaut instead of planning on? I mean, he's got a nice run up here, to be fair. He made a nice run up for his foul. I'll give him that. Pay off. Well done. Well done, Seabros. That was a good decision with a good payoff. Now he's going to get Tackle Mighty. But no planning on, to be fair, on the Chaos team. He must be, yeah. Maybe he cut to get the uh, cut to get the wizard. No, no, he's got a wizard and a bribe and two bibs. So he could have got, he could have got a, could have got another, could have got another uh, reroll, couldn't he? I guess he just, you know, he min maxed, min max zones to get a ridiculous record, which is standard for zones, isn't it? Makes sense because they're so good at low TV and so bad at high TV. It makes sense to min max them and then makes them. Even more like self fulfilling, doesn't it, with uh, the way they work? But yeah, loads of guard. That's nice. Nice how much guard he has. Of course, my team last season had loads of stats, so if we combined my team and Seabrose's team, it would be the ultimate Amazon team. And it still wouldn't win Chalice. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad, is it? It's only it's it's paying fifty TV for guard, which is fine, and you can still foul sometimes if you've got a bribe. Shockingly, still has a team after turn two. When's he going to get all mans? Like, it's a little bit dangerous going for the mansing here as the chaos due to all of the guard, but. Yeah, like, it's not that sad because it's still a guard at the end of the day. Like, yes, he'd rather have block in the guard, but. You know, what can you do? You're not gonna. It's still great to get a guarder, isn't it? No, oh, he gets to use Juggernaut! Woo! What a play, guys. They said the jugs didn't play off, but it randomly made a push. It's so part such a powerful effect. You know. Lovely foul. Didn't do the run-up though this time, notice you see, notice he did he didn't do the run-up for that foul, didn't break armor. Hmm. 
Yep. See, good job he pushed that guy, otherwise he wouldn't have been able to hit back and make a KO. What? I mean, Jugs for free is fine, yeah. And is it four corn goals with Jugs? Well, it's 20k, isn't it? 20k for the Jugs. I'd certainly, uh. I'd certainly. Well, I mean, they're just better than Beastman, right? Russell. Wow! Wow! Seabro's just took the both down. I would have not used Wrestle there. I would have not used Wrestle. That was, uh... The Chaos chose the Wrestle there. I would have definitely not chosen the Wrestle and knocked his guy down. And left the ball instantly exposed to a 2D Blitz from Tackle. What the hell? Why, why didn't he... Why did he use Wrestle? <laughs> Maybe he just wanted to stay true to the title of his team, eh? Where is my brains? I mean, he's still got an instant 2D on the ball, hasn't he? I don't know why Seabros thought this was safe. Don't know why he followed up either. I guess this guy can assist. Nope, he's not going to. Just do a one day, yep. Why why bother assisting? There we go. A glorious rattle hit. Ball carrier KO'd. Game isn't over though, don't say it's over. Anything can happen. Just looking out my window, I don't, I don't see the uh, girls allowed tour bus, but you never know. Anything can happen. There is approximately the same chance, <laughs> but anything can happen. Chuck's got a KO. Well. Should get a should get a cameo. Oh, she'd so be too rich for it. Get one of the get one of the like get Nicola Roberts to do <laughs> to do a cameo. <laughs> Fuck it, hell, Nas, and that was a bit that's a bit dark. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Oh well, the classic dodge into death there. I don't know what his plan was. Oh, his plan was to scream with that guy, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't know. Couldn't the ball have gone back or something? It seems. Yeah, I guess there's not that many. No, he could still have just gone back. Doesn't matter. Just expose the ball to an instant 2D. Why not? Sorry for turning into Artemis, everybody. But, uh, <laughs> I feel pretty sick, and the Blood Bowl play isn't helping. <laughs> and, like, you know, these games are both 
Both being pretty one sided in terms of teams, right? The Chaos are way better than the Zones. The Zones have had some dice, to be fair. Three removals. Only taken one, but they still lost the ball. Because they're shit. And they'll never win Chalice. Fend. Fend it all the way to the Chaos box. Juggernaut getting the KO there. <laughs> Wait, the wrong way. Yep, do that before standing the other guy up, why not? But now he does get to dodge that guy as well. Seemed needlessly greedy, if you ask me, but hey. Not what I would have done, but, you know, there was, there was payoff to it somehow. So you were just trying to get out one uh, nil nil on his own offense, but then it does mean that he'll have the wizard to win one nil on the chaos offense if he can keep them out here. So you know this is fine. Apart from the dodge into Kaz, we've had two dodges into Kaz this game. Flip me, guys. No apple there. Is he, oh, he has fouled a few times, see, bro, so he's used his up already. Yeah. Oh, I did he, yeah, I was paying so much attention to that, I never re registered. Thank you, Team Ann Taylor. How's he getting into scoring range? Is it just potato? Oh, he's handing off. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. If, if Cass can just take over. If Chat can take over all casting duties. That's fine by me. Why does I love the upskirt so much? They <laughs> just really fucking love upskirts. <laughs> oh, and even if this is 1 0 on his own offense, at least he's got the whiz to make it 1 1 on the Chaos offense. 1 1. The famous giant from Game of Thrones. Another one in... No, it, was a one, it wasn't a one in there. It was one in three. It was tackle. There's so much tackle on this Chaos team. That's the thing, isn't it? He's like a dwarf team, but with movement and strength. It's absolutely brutal. Absolutely brutal. Of course, he hasn't diced C rolls in the way that uh, I was diced by PC, but it's, uh, he's getting enough, isn't he? He hasn't rolled all the dice. But... So yeah, while obviously going 1-0 down in your own offence is absolutely terrible, he's got all his kills back due to the double babes, and uh, he's got a wizard, so... You know, he's still in this, is Sea Bros. Anything can happen. Uh, he's, he's still got his juggernaut, so you know, he can always get a push on a blitz. He's got to be buzzing about that, honestly. If there's one way to get back into a match, 
it's just you know push some people around that's something I've learned from my many many years playing Blood Bowl but really if you if you can just choose to push people that's oh it's really powerful it's a joke by the way in case anyone In case anyone didn't get it. In case anybody's in any doubt, Juggernaut is a shit skill. Well, you got it, Voro. You'll be surprised how fucking stupid people are. It's universal as well, you know. You'd think, you would hope that Blood Bowl 3 was a collection of all the most stupid people on Earth. But unfortunately, you look at the Battle Brothers Reddit and you see that isn't true. <laughs> Because Dior, while being good at Blood Bowl, is a bit of a fucking lunatic being on turn. And full of shit. <laughs> it's literally just anyone in the world. Most people, most people are fucking stupid. Yeah, frenzy big guys. Naf style. Isn't it? Rogers. Rogers are a good thing for Juggernaut. If you've already got Pom, Claw Pom, Juggernaut, so you can hit wrestlers and fenders. But not before panning on a mighty bro. Like, people who take Juggernaut Witch Elves. Just fucking. fuck off, honestly. <laughs> 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 there you go. Ah, it's not a weird reroll at all, Team and Taylor. Um, everyone's played terrible this cup. Nothing surprises me. I mean, I didn't wasn't paying attention, so I didn't see there was a reroll. But literally, nothing surprises me anymore. Hello, Gadenik. Same to you, buddy. Uh, he has got four rerolls. What was it, handoff? I mean, yeah, you, you know, you might as well. You might as well put in the reroll, right? You want nil up as well. You're only scared of the wizard. Fucking you. So get it on this guy. And then you're less scared. Yeah, yeah, big sud, that's the thing, you know, people like to say, oh, it's really good, you can knock down the wrestlers, and it's like, well, yeah, but now you've got to get your specific juggernaut guy hitting their specific wrestler guy. And also, your juggernaut guy doesn't have fucking piling on, because you've taken fucking juggernaut instead of fucking piling on. <laughs> or juggernaut instead of mighty blow, or whatever. Yeah, that's the thing. Opportunity cost, isn't it? Opportunity cost is the thing. When every every single skill in Blood Bowl, look at that Juggernaut worked. Would he? <laughs> oh, I'm eating my words now. It makes a removal incredible. But you know, it's just the opportunity cost, isn't it? And it's just wank. Simple as that. It's obviously just going to make a. It's just going to remove a wrestle player every turn now from it, isn't he? Just to make me look like a fool, but I'll still stand by it.
Of course, in Blood Bowl 3, it will be a lot better, because in Blood Bowl 3, it's not competing against piling up. And in Blood Bowl 3, dodge will be worse, because people will take more tackle, because they'll take less claw and less piling up. They'll take zero piling up. And also, Juggernaut is acceptable to get as a random. Yep, it helps. That helps, doesn't it? But it's like throwers, isn't it? You know, throwers depend on your thrower being the one who can get the ball and throw it, and your and having a catcher on a Amazon team relies on your catcher being the one who can catch it. You know, like it's it's different if you're taking a catcher to build a natty or you know. Just a generally good player and stuff, but like people taking catches t with a plan to catch it <laughs> is just bad. Hello, Machina. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone, by the way. Or happy holidays. We've got to be woke for Kalon. <laughs> 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 Just as a 1D, why not? Does that mean we're getting a hit on the ball? It surely does. Because uh, Vava has decided to not use his brain. Oh, uh, pile driver. Can you unroot a tree man with pile driver? Does it not count as voluntary movement? Um, it's a random, isn't it? It's so you can roll random strength skills and get pile driver, and you could take it on a you could take it on a uh, what's it called death roll if you were to take a death roll, which you know. You should. I mean, that's a bold statement, Billy. That's implying that they thought about anything in the rule set. I think the more realistic statement is they needed some additional skills so that they could fill the random table with 12 skills. Whether they're good or bad is completely accidental or, um, you know, inconsequential to them. What a horrendous offence this has been from Vava, by the way. He's used he's used three re-rolls in four turns, lost the ball. Sea Rose hasn't even had to use his wizard yet. Doesn't use it here. Absolutely terrible. Oh okay well. You know, it's looking like overtime, isn't it? It's a horrible, horrible, horrible play from Vava. Really living up to the team name here. Is Vava. You love Fumble Ruski. Wow. <laughs> what is there to say about that? What I can say about Fumble Ruski is that it's not the worst skill in the entire game, but it's up there. They could have called it. They could have called it the butt fumble. That would have been better, more accurate. Would it say?
This is really terrible from Varvar, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, what's it called on the ball? Not bad at all, is it? I always said they should do that as well. I'm glad I'm glad it was it happened. Yeah, we don't know, no, I'm doing hello. It's it's impossible to tell what's happening in a game of Blood Bowl 3. Um I actually had to turn I had to actually close my eyes um in between turns so I never saw any actions. I never saw I was unable to watch the game to see animations. So there you go. So Seabros has managed to keep hold of his wizard and somehow turn over Vava easily, absolutely easily. What a horrendous offense. And he's used three rerolls to like not even vaguely defend the ball or try to get it back or just do anything. What an absolute fucking shambles from Vava. Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> Indeed, Ansi, hello. <laughs> yeah. Hey look, you've gotta say at least he, at least he's living up to his team name. <laughs> <laughs> Now I think Seabors will use the wizard to get the time at least. So I don't think I don't think you'll get the three turn I don't think he'll make the three turn, I think. If Seabros have to use has to use the wizard he will to stop the three turn, right? I think surely with eleven players, well or ten players. In a reroll, surely he can stop the, the three turn. Nine players. We've gone to the, uh, we've gone to the Dord and, uh, I can't remember his name. What's the old guy called? Zunk. We've gone to the Dord and Zunk School of LOS blocks by not hitting with tackle. Amazing. Oh, there's a Kaz though. Down to eight players. Extra arms coming into play? Well, maybe not. Might have, uh, might have been a success anyway. Oh yeah, ball carrier strength bust. I mean, the bigger fish he has to fry is not going out this far. And wow, amazingly, the tackle guy who's exposed gets hit. What were the chances of that happening? Glorious extra arms, yes. Tackle. Doing things. Blitz this one, don't you? Go up here. Kaz, lovely. Lovely. It's almost like Tackle's good. And uh, Dio's a bit of a lunatic. Don't tell anyone, though. Tackle, lol. 
You can't all roll like Gadani. No, it, tackle's weird, isn't it? Because it is mostly shit. Like, it's, it's, I don't know, it's horrible. Like, zones are horrible. Tackle is a shit skill. Does he go by Derek? Derek's not his name, though, is it? Wow, he uses his last reroll on this irrelevant GFI. <laughs> it wasn't his last, he must have gained one. He must have gained one off the kickoff. Mm. The fuck was that, GFI? He's fine here. He's literally fine here. Probably better there, in fact. Because then if this guy goes down off the fireball, you've, you know, you've got somebody and then, like, in the way instead of not in the way. It was, yeah, pretty well rolled, well rolled from Sea Bros. And obviously he had to whiz this turn because it was too strong for him to defend against after taking all these removals on this drive. Oh, he's got the chance of the breakaway score. Yeah, has to use his reroll there. Good reroll. Good reroll from Sea Brawls. Shouldn't go on the sideline, right? This is terrible going on the sideline. Where well, is it? No, he should go on the sideline. So it's, that's a weird one, right? Because obviously on the sideline, you have to go on the sideline and get out of range. But then if you fail the GFI and it goes in the crowd, it's fucking terrible. One, two, three, four, five. Fuck off, shithead camera. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So two GFIs. Wow, he uses his last reroll. He uses his last reroll on an irrelevant hit? Oh my. Well, Val, I don't know who deserves to lose more. Probably Val, though. What the fuck was that? Oh, no, it was an irrelevant hit. No, it was, because it's just a base him. Oh, fuck off. Well, maybe it works. I guess basing him is better than not basing him. Because Seabro's out of rerolls, isn't he? He's strength four. Maybe that was a good play. Alright, maybe that was a good play by Barber, actually. But he still should have shouldn't have wasted two rerolls. He's fully wasted two rerolls. But yeah, this is re this is really easy from like 70%, isn't it, for Seabros? So if you make the both the GFIs, it makes him do a 4-3, which makes it a lot harder. So that, that to be fair, that made the score a lot harder. All the one anyway. So there you go. But Vava should have like two or three. I think Vava should have three rerolls right now. And he's got none. Because the first two he used in the first in the, the first two he used were terrible, and the last one he used. Uh, well, the one he's in the previous turn when he did that pointless GFI was terrible. But that, that was actually a good player there, getting that chain to, to pin the sideline. And Vavar's won the to coin toss. And Seabros has eight players. So, yep. Let me jump in. On comms. Mm. No, that's not true, Team and Taylor used one on the GFI, he used a, one on this GFI here that resulted in the guy dying. Wasn't it? I'm pretty sure he re-rolled that. Yeah, I think he got extra ones off both kickoffs. I believe he got extra ones off both kickoffs because I said he used his last reroll on that, so yeah.
Yeah, I believe you got two extra rerolls. So he's had five and he's somehow used them all. Hello, Dimmy. Christmas, Jim. Merry Christmas. How you doing, mate? You alright? Yeah, I'm alright. Amazons aren't winning challenges, are they, Jim? <laughs> they ain't, no, no. <laughs> no, they definitely ain't. Holy smokes, that was entertaining, though. Good little win to the game, man. Yeah. Uh, poor Seaball. Seaball always gets diced in Chalice today. He always has like something that goes wrong. Yeah, he's a good player. He's a good player. He's, he's decent, mate. And like, if you honestly, like, <clears throat> I mean, he'll tell you more than I will. But <laughs> every time he goes out, there's a reason for it. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember the game against Lyra Vale with the Chorfs and he was the Orcs. And there was like a really crazy touchdown, and uh, there's there's been a few, there's been a few. I think he was ogres against chicken fishes, uh, lizard men, and there was a chance in that one as well. It was a uh, he's a he's an unlucky guy, Jim. Mm. Some people might say the most diced man in Blood Bowl. Well, he might be now. Do you know what I mean? Don't know, like diced uh, himself by taking juggernaut instead of piling on. Well, well, Amazons, Jim. Amazons. Yeah, Amazons. Diced, Amazon. himself, Diced himself by taking Amazons, yeah. I mean, I mean, someone else very close to us right now has done that mm -hmm. recently, haven't they? They have, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's not me. No, PC rolled all the dice as well to make it even worse. All the dice. <laughs> he rolled all the, all the dice. <laughs> this guy with the dice. Oh, <laughs> aim. <laughs> I can't believe this is terrible from Baba, by the way. Like, okay, he just rolls a power. But what if this is a push? You know, like it's just like yeah. you roll the power there, push him here, so that if you if you don't power him there, you push him there. Like it's just he's done almost everything he could do wrong. He's done wrong. <laughs> I mean that that adds to the flavour of Blood Bowl, though, doesn't it? I mean this is it, but. Yeah. I, I I enjoy watching that. <laughs> yeah, I don't I'm, mind it. Yeah, Art always complains about people playing terribly, and it's like, well, so what? It's it, it can still be an entertaining match, can't it? You know. Like, oh, wait. When I know that the other guy is like furious because like I I haven't done something correctly, and I know I haven't done something correctly, <laughs> and they know it, and I've still won. Like like surely that's the best feeling in Blood Bowl, honestly. <laughs> Like, like watching, like who cares if somebody plays the best? It doesn't matter, does it? What's yeah, yeah. what matters is funny things happening and whatever. People see the game differently, don't they? So. Mm. It is uh, what it is. It is. It is what it is, and it's it's. It, you gotta love it, like do you know what I mean. Like at the end of the day, if uh, if you want a perfect competitive game. Don't play Blood Bowl, but play chess, do you know what I mean? Like, so. mm, you've come to the wrong fucking place if you yeah, want that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like, people who play Blood Bowl moan about being diced are the biggest hypocrites on the planet, like, basically. Mm. Like, you... Like, I, I always used to say back in the day, I was like, when you, when you, when you play Blood Bowl, you, you sign, like, uh, an imaginary contract to yourself, saying, I am potentially going to get diced, you know what I mean? So, why be surprised when you get diced? <laughs> like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? By yeah. playing Blood Bowl, you're putting yourself... Like, what was it Shorty said, wasn't it? It's like, you're putting yourself in a position to be diced. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or no, is it Artemis said it, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Ar Artemis said, like, oh, you're, you're, you're playing to dice. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. It's quite funny. It's just even better than Seaboards and it's Amazons. Like, it's <laughs> literally... It's like... The tears of the cake, and it's just the sweetest cake I've ever tasted in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he could have run all the way around for a one day. Yeah, he's done alright, he's done alright. I don't Got think he's going to be enough. 
It's not a bad Amazon team as well. Holy God. Yeah, seven guard. But uh, no stats and juggernaut instead of piling on. I don't know if you missed it. I mean, like, this is about as good as it gets. This is the thing. Like, this is why I say they'll never win Chalice, because this is about as good as it gets. I like the stats here, obviously. But. Yeah. If you combine my team with Seabro's team, that would be about as good as it could get. Because he's oh. got seven guard and I had all the stats. <laughs> Who is it? Like, we've seen a couple of strength five. Five O's, Amazons as well. Mm. Martin Septum had a good run with him the other week, didn't he? Mm. So, uh, Ideally, you want like two Amazons with loads of stats, which is why the new Amazons will be like actually quite good in you know CCL kind of format, where you can have. Is um, there a CCL format though? That's well, the if thing. there is, you know, like ladder. But the point is like one without redraft, without redrafts, where you can just build monster uh, blockers. They'll be good. Monster blockers. Monster blockers. When you can have like oh, two more than four blockers. It's that. It's that ridiculous star that just just put me off blood bowl, mate. Honestly, I was just like, oh yeah, I can hypno gaze from miles away and just steal the ball on any turn I want. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll sign up for that. Yeah, I'll play that. Yeah. Yep. Well, everyone says this pen of you, but it's all a lot of bollocks at the end of the day. <laughs> I, I find it hilarious when people say that because it's like, dude, as if you think it's as if you think twenty twenty is balanced around redraft. All these people that say oh, blood ball twenty twenty is balanced around redraft, it's not balanced at all. <laughs> no, like I mean, the main, the main the main guys who play it are naff, aren't they? And they, they mm. don't give a crap about development because it yeah. just doesn't, doesn't exist. So yeah, and it. And then the guys who play leagues aren't really like the mainstream blood bowlers. I, I wouldn't. I would hazard a guess at. I wouldn't mm. want to give you the numbers, but I, I think there's less people who play leagues than play man. I guess. Maybe. And I, or I think the people who play NAF are better than the people who play in leagues. Oh yeah, like, De definitely. Yeah, yeah like it's. Uh, But, well, you know, if, if you could have played in a league, then, you know, obviously a redraft option would be nice. But, but you know, everyone's saying, you know, you need it for ladder is a bit silly. Or certainly saying it's balanced around redraft because there's no balancing at all. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, what? Was he going around? Oh, no, he's going in there. Yeah. Was that six plus? Five plus? Yeah. Six plus. Elliot did that to me. Uh, lucky bastard, isn't he? Yeah, he is, mate. He's a... <laughs> no uh, why? Hey! <laughs> Did he need to take that block? With no, no reroll? Probably like, not, but who cares? No, no, what? Well, it, I mean, if he dub scold, like, <laughs> it's not that great, is it? It isn't to me, no. But I'll be honest, I'd zoned out. Um... Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was a 3D. It was a 3D. Oh, well, did, I mean, was he on the ball? He must have been. No, no, because he filled the dodge uh, in, didn't he? He filled the know. dodge in. Sure yeah, I, know. I, think, I think he could have just walked it in. Yeah, yeah. He just walked it in. It was like, I'll take a 3D and might get cards, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he didn't need to take it. Yeah, cheers, Jay Buzzer. Well, yeah, to be fair, it's a 3D. But, I mean, even so, it's a completely pointless one. Yeah. Yeah. And unless that guy levels, and even if he does, like I still think it's not right. It's but, pretty know. irrelevant, but look, he got his MVP, got a Beastman, so he got a level out of it, so there you go. He's, he's an ill elephant. Yeah, and uh, there you go. Commiserations, Seabrolls, congratulations, Vava. Thanks, Dimmy, for joining in <laughs> a little bit. I mean, I feel like I carried that uh, cast him. You did, mate, like, you did. Right. Dude. Champ, champ's back. You know, we're here. <laughs> champ's uh, back. Happy Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.